this video will probably catch me some flack. So I go in acknowledging that and I will continue to make this video. I appreciate things like the voter registration that is taking place at the Van War Tour and other venues such as that across the country. That being said, that brings me into who posted it though. It was posted on Barack Obama's or Senator Obama's or Mr. Obama's YouTube page. Drive the voters to vote is a good thing. The, here's the problem and the reason why 40 to 50 percent of the voters that are registered don't vote. They don't vote because essentially it, there's a few things. They either, their vote doesn't count, they don't fit into either ideological political party, they don't like either of the candidates, or they have a skewed view on politicians in general. This year, I will probably vote for the local issues and state issues from where I'm from as far as things such as the presidency I will probably not vote for that particular issue as I do not believe either party truly represents anything I believe in and this is the conundrum about a third of the country that identifies themselves as independent voters find themselves in. And it's not just a third of the country. Because back when the Democrats, who are now in charge of the Senate and the House, took over, we were promised, we were told things would change. Things like the war in Iraq would be over. We're still there. Things such as tax cuts for the rich would go away. They're still there for now. And various other aspects would be gone. They'd be fixed. They'd be changed. And that's not just on the Democrats. That's on the Republicans too. Back in 1994 when the Republicans took over, they talked about change. They talked about you know, getting rid of the things like the Department of Education, just as an example. You know, they were talking about that kind of change. That never materialized. In fact, during the Republicans' time, we now have the biggest government there's ever been. We have more government programs. We have more government spending. All under conservative principles and fiscal responsibility that they supposedly represent. Funny how that works. And this is how the nature of politics is. Because the problem with politics is it represents power. And you take away a few freedoms you know, the general populace will, yeah, okay, whatever. And, you know, they can take away a little more. So, that, within the last two decades, essentially, of supposed change, we have not had any change other than the wrong kind that we were promised. This is the conundrum that people in my voting blog look at. I claim to be a student of history. That's just the last 20 years. That's not going back to the other 40 plus presidents. 
and times of Senate and Congress in general. If that's just in the last 20 years, what's the last 200 plus years looked like in politicians? Because what you politicians need to change is not political programs, is not wars, is not things of peace, it is not the weather, it is not this, it is not that. You need to change the general population's perception of what politicians are. Because from my point of view, and apparently a good majority of uh, how the general populace views uh, Congress right now, if you're going by polls, um, you need to change the perception the general population has of you. Which is, you guys are too concerned about what's happening on 1600 Pennsylvania Ave down there in D.C. to be concerned with the people you guys are representing. The people that voted you there so they could get the change they wanted. Yet they're not seeing any products of that vote to any use. Now you can say money's been allocated. You can say, you know, we voted on this. That's the wrong kind of change. You need to change how the general population views you. That is where you will find your real change. Because once you change someone's state of mind and perception of you, then you can enact real change. Then you have a complete and total change that you're looking for. That is how you get the change that this country needs. We need to have the perception that this country can be what it was at one point. Not what it is now where everyone thinks someone else is always out to get them, where someone else is always out for more power, for more money, for more whatever. We have to change that perception of essentially how general populace views politicians in order to truly have any change within our government. That will be a long, long process if this is how politicians are running our country now. Because essentially, my demographic, 18 to 30, 18 to 30, you know, 6, however far you want to go, 18 to 34, we view politicians, for the most part, this is a generalization, I will admit, that politicians are out for one thing, to save their butts so you can keep your job. Because politicians are the best damn paid liars I've ever met. Now that is a perception that will be tough to change, but it's the one that needs to be changed then you might have that 30 to 40 percent of the general population that doesn't vote now actually start voting again. And then we can have a real majority, minority, or swing voters. That will be the day America finds itself again. And that will be the day the people are truly the ones that are in charge. Respond if you want. Give me flack if you want. That's what this is for. Everyone's got an opinion. Let's hear them.